Everything that rocks, CJ92, that's the offspring, and self-esteem, 840, Red Dog and Rhiannon, and uh, we're getting ready for the World Junior Hockey Championships. We're going to go back right now, about, uh, well, it's been almost two years, Helen Upperton is joining us, uh, Canadian Olympic silver medalist in Vancouver in women's bobsleigh. It was two years ago, almost. And it was. Has it, has it sunk in yet, the 16 days he spent in Vancouver during the Olympics? It actually feels like it was a really long time ago. Really? Yeah, it does. Lots happened since then. Yeah, it has. Take us back to uh, to, to your silver medalist winning run. Um, I think it was the probably the coolest moment of my athletic career because you're standing in front of thousands of people and there's millions more watching across Canada, across the world, and I didn't feel nervous at all. I remember standing at the start line with my brakeman Shelly Ann next to me and. You couldn't hear anything because people too, were screaming. Too much cowbell. See, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting <laughs> chills right now. And uh, I remember like looking out into the crowd and seeing all the Canada flags and thinking like this is probably like the coolest thing I'm ever gonna do. And uh, and then when you came across the finish line, how soon after you crossed the line did you know that you you finished you finished in the medals silver? In bobsleigh, there's a, a break us a, a finish line and then about you know 300 meters of breaking stretch, so you can slow down and yeah. not smash into stuff at the end of the track. Right. And uh, you have to wait until you come up to the finish dock to see a, a posting on the clock. And I was looking for it, and there's people screaming, and my brakeman started smashing me on the helmet and crying. <laughs> I could hear her crying, and I was like, I guess we must have done it. So. That's absolutely That's unbelievable. So cool. I'm, see, I'm getting chill. What was the party like afterwards? <laughs> it was awesome, because our medal ceremony was with the Roots. Right. And uh, we went up on stage with them when they performed, and then they took us out afterwards, and we were, like, at, in the DJ booth with Questlove. And That's so awesome. Yeah, it was really cool. <laughs> it that, was a good party. That is totally cool. Congratulations. You even brought your silver medal in this morning for us. I did. Now, we have another reason for bringing you in, other than to give us chills and to take us back to uh, February 2010. You're doing a nice thing. You and Melissa Hollingsworth, who we've had on the show a few times, the Delari Automotive Group are, are doing the uh, Passion for Excellence. Tell us about that. Yeah, so athletes um, are always asking for more corporate support, and the Calgary community is really supportive. We've got a great, great culture of sport here in Calgary. Yeah. And uh, the Delari Automotive Group stepped up to sponsor both Melissa Hollingsworth and I, and it's a very outside-of-the-box way of sponsorship. They don't just give us money so we can go compete. They they um, give us financial support. And they and, make you do stuff. And moral support, and they're a great part of our team. Um, and they, in, in return, we go out into the communities, and we get to go talk to kids and help inspire the youth here locally in Calgary, which is a really, really rewarding experience for both Melissa and myself. And this is something you do all throughout the year? Um, well, not during our competitive season because right. we're kind of a little busy. <laughs> right. But, but we, yeah, um, the contest um, has already started and the kids can still enter. It's very, very easy. They do it online. And uh, once the, the, the winners are chosen, they send Melissa and I out into the schools and... Um, there's a few different um, parts of the contest now. We've expanded the program since last year, and last year we actually were out with 13 different different schools, um, talking hundreds and hundreds of kids. So it was really, really and neat. and you've got you've got them all here: Rocky View School District, the Foothills uh, uh, School Division, Calgary Catholic School District, and the Calgary Board of Education. How can they? Well, what's the website address? It's uh, www.passionforexcellence.ca, and uh, we also have a Facebook and a Twitter page for people to follow what's going on. So when's when's the season get rolling here? We um, have started competing since uh, October. Okay. I've actually been out with injuries, so I'm joining up with our World Cup team in February. But Melissa Hollingsworth has been having a great season. So That's awesome. Now, yeah. are you, are you going to be in Sochi in, in, in 2014? I haven't decided yet. I'm coming near the end of my career, and uh, I've still got a lot of goals I haven't uh, accomplished yet, so I'm pretty motivated and working hard. And You know it's out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it's, 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 not, it's not Vancouver. I know. It's going to be very different, but the Olympics is always a really uh, rewarding experience, and it's a really... A uh, wonderful opportunity to represent your country and wear the maple leaf proudly. So, can I touch your medal? Yes, you can. Okay, excellent. <laughs> so we're coming back after this. Eight forty-four. Thanks a lot. Thank you.